Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect, where in the last episode we landed on Vermeer and are about to meet with the Salarian infiltration team that was sent here by the council ahead of us. Let's see what's actually going on here. Is there a way to get up there? There actually is. Is there actually anything going on there? I'm not really certain about that. Or am I moving in the wrong way? Oh, I think I'm actually moving the wrong way. No. I think we just passed this one, then we took a right, and then we continued on. For some reason I turned around there. Sorry. I didn't notice it before I was at the r wrong side of the map, so give me some credits for that. But we actually have to go through here. Whoops. Alright, no enemies, some storms in the distance, but... Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian right. captain can explain when you get here. Okay. We'll be right there, I guess. Mm, that looks like a base. There is the Solarian camp. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Um, hi. What's the status? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. So what do we do now? What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the council to send a fleet. Well, they didn't get any information with a message, just a message. So, sorry, but there's nobody coming. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with geth and very well fortified. What kind of research is he doing here? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Mm. Well, he has. He already has an army of Geth. If he also has an army of uh, Krogan, then things just get just got from bad to worse. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Rex. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. I'll talk to him. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Sure. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Why? You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. <laughs> I always expect an ambush! The upcoming battle frightens me. But I know um, must be stopped. What the frick? Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. Or anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Who's shooting on there? Let me see what you have. What little there is. Okay, but you got an Amali Council license at least. Right, well, I'll take that. And I got no decryption, because I technically don't have a squad with me. 
Motherfucker. So who's who's shooting? Um, oh, Rex is shooting. Oh god. Rex, if you're trying to remove the water, you're not doing a very this good job. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. How about we we calm down first and talk this through? I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. Well, it's not that simple. You think he may have, have a cure, but maybe maybe the, the cure has side effects that we don't know about. Maybe the the Krogan are just are just are just being 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 controlled by him and are his puppets. Do you really want to trust that guy who does who has already done horrible things with curing your people? It's it's not that simple. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. If I weren't doing this for the right reason, then I wouldn't be doing this, for this at all. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. You can get that. And if there's ever a way to solve the genophage with in, on on our time and with our means then you can count on my help uh, the arrow your ability to calm the krogan is impressive it's called talking all right let's talk to captain kira here <laughs> also, also, also interested to hear what Gaz has to say. Normally, I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. Okay. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. So you got a plan. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Well, that's, that's that sounds difficult, because we can't just go in there and plant the bomb. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. <sighs> well, we can probably do it somehow. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. But if you have, but you, you you only have a few people, and with this plan that you have, that means that probably everybody in the front is going to get killed. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. Why? I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. In theory, that's a good idea, but you're sure asking for a lot. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Do you have any recommendations, Captain? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. 
Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. All right, then, Ashley, you're you're the better fighter of of you two. Help help the Salarians make a make an epic stand and try to bring everybody out alive, maybe. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Still sounds dangerous. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Then let's go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Something you wanted to say? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. And it will be my, my honor to continue serving with you. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped for Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Same. Since uh, Rex has some personal stake in going in there, let's actually bring Rex along for this. And in order to have someone with decryption, let's also take Garrus along for this. Let's have the full combat squad. Oh, all Object, all outfitted with Colossus armor. Yeah, yeah, affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Roger that. If we find any way to cripple them, Shadow then... is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, with Igor team. Manovai, the team. Oh. Time to get some attention. Sniper over there. 
Mono Vi is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping to get the target. Got him. Yeah, communications disrupted. Good. That should help our our other teams. All right, where are we going from here? Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well. Let's just go through here and then to the satellite uplink tower. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Malavai. What are you shooting with? Take a sword rifle for now. They're calling sat strikes. Jayeto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Let's get in there. Maybe you can call off this satellite strikes that they have been talking about over the radio. Got warp two, right? Wait. Rex. Not sure why he's not hitting in, in melee range. He's just going to melee range and not really doing anything at all. That's not very effective. Is there something here we can destroy? We got them all, Shepard. We down below. I don't really go through here. Wait, satellite uplink disrupted. Any more? No. All right, we got the uplink. Let's then turn right and as soon as we can. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Alright. Got that one. Let's just keep following me. I think there's a refueling station nearby. Good job, everyone. Not sure what you're shooting at, Garrus. Uh, Rex, I mean. Oh. That guy. Okay. Uh, I could also turn left and try and check out if there's anything here, but I don't think there's anything there that we really need to destroy. It's just some enemies Contact. there, but let's investigate that regardless. Before we make an assault on the base. Seems to be heavily fortified. Watch out. Watch out. Who, who said that? Oh, no. uh, Rex.
Rex, can't you do anything about this? Like, or again? What the hell was that? Why did she just? Why did he just randomly die? I don't know. Hmm. Yep. All right. Took took care of these Krogans here so that they can't shoot us in the back while we make our sword. Let's Garrus. Can you sniper rifle? There's no enemy contacts here. That's a little weird. I want one of the snipe guys from here. But there's really nothing at all. Except that. Hmm. Shame. Alright, then I guess we'll head to the front of the base. Although I can still save here, so. Actually, in the next episode, we're gonna start our assault on the main base now that we've uh, sort of. Uh, skirmished around the outskirts a little. So I'll see you next time. Have a good one.